So welcome to Bridge. Um, in Bridge, there are three types of assets that we can use. And uh, the one I'm going to briefly show them. So the, a 3D asset is anything you can bring into your world. Uh, 3D plants are plants that you're going to use to make the world look more uh, realistic. And surfaces, which are things that you will bring in to uh, make the uh, world have that look. So if you wanted to have your floor look like bricks, you would use this surface over here. Okay, you can always click on these uh, and kind of get a, a little bit more of a sense of, of what they are. So um, what I want to do now is show you what they look like in Unreal Engine. So in Unreal Engine, I've brought in a level. And what I want to do here is, so what I want to show you, uh, once we connect Bridge, which we haven't done yet, but it'll create a folder called Megascans. And in that folder, it'll create the three types of items that I've asked you to bring in. So the first being surfaces. So I brought in uh, a mossy stone, okay? So I, so for the mossy stone, uh, or any item that you bring in, you should be aware that there's often a lot of things there and you kind of need to figure out which, which things are which. So these are the different kind of, uh, of textures that each material has, okay? Um, and this is the actual material itself with everything included. So how do you bring it in? You basically click and drag it. So there you go. So if I wanted my floor in my world to look like that, I would just click that there. Or here's another material, just so you can see the difference. I'm going to So you see this one also has all the different textures, but what we want is to bring that in. So there's the look. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you would bring in are 3D assets. So I brought in this old stone well. And in here, you're going to notice something different. There's a blue, uh, well, it's a static mesh. And that's the item you're actually going to bring in. So this is actually an object itself. Well, this here only colors an object. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I bring this in, there's the object. You're going to see down here, this has its own material. Okay. So uh, it's a little bit different. So be aware that whenever you see blue, uh, that's a static mesh. You even see it, it says static mesh. That means you can bring it in as a new uh, object. The last item in the, that I'm asking you to bring in are the plants. So plants basically uh, under foliage, and I'll do a tutorial on this later, but you can basically color uh, the floor. And I'll do it really quickly here just so you can kind of see what I mean. And I'm going to, I have a couple already selected. So I'll just click on these two. And then when I come here, you're going to see that when I start coloring, you're going to, and if I zoom in, you're going to see there's some vegetation. Okay. So those are the three things that, that you can bring in with Quixel. Now I should mention, you're not going to be able to bring in trees. You can bring in tree trunks and stuff, uh, but you can, right now we're going to, I know I said we're doing Robin Hood uh, and probably we'll still do that. But for the main thing is you're bringing in the following three things. Surfaces, 3D plants, and 3D assets. Again, where do you go? And the easy thing to do when you're in Quixel, I'm just going to close this out a couple things open. There's a couple tricks. Just clicking on this 3D asset, searching through all of them, or even easier. Uh, what I do is you go to a collection. Let's say I want environment. And let's say I want this medieval. Okay. I clicked on the wrong one. Let's go with castle. Okay. And I want in here all the 3D assets. So if I look down here, it'll show me all the 3D assets that are in that collection. If I want all the 3D plants, there sometimes there aren't any, okay? And then if I want all the surfaces that are in that, that collection. So how did I do that again? You click on collection, and there's quite a few of them. And if you go to the top, you can kind of scroll through them and pick your favorite. Make sure you, still from the start here. So here's an example. Click here. So you want Nordic for, uh, Forest, which we could use for a Robin Hood. And then from here, you select 3D Assets. And I'll show you how to add them in a second. 3D Plants and your Surfaces. Okay? And if you can't find plants in there and you want, you just go over here and you'll be able to find quite a few plants. Okay? If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up so you can uh, connect it to your Unreal Engine and also download uh, and export.
into uh, your game. Okay, thanks.